I apologize you guys this was definitely a last minute hairstyle but I felt like if y'all seen me on Instagram or if I got on another video with this style y'all would have wanted a video <laughs> so that's why the tutorial was kind of all over the place the sun shines on all of my glory my flaws don't look so bad at all what was I so afraid of Everybody is Charmel. Welcome or welcome back to Lox Lux Lifestyle. So this is a very impromptu video. It's going to be a tutorial, but I did just want to make a couple of disclaimers before we get into this video. So first of all, I am in the process of creating a two strand twist asymmetrical bob with my shorter to medium length locks. Okay, so when I woke up this morning, I had no intentions on doing this style. I had no intentions on shooting a tutorial. So long story short, I was actually vlogging this morning, talking about my hair. If I have plans this weekend. I'm in between retwists. And I really just wanted something different from the styles that I usually do with my hair. So I was actually going to recreate the Bantu Knot look that I did last year. And I had pulled out all of this Marley hair that was in my hair bin. And then I got on Instagram. Okay, so yes, this one lady that I follow who has locks, she posted this video right here. Obviously, she has really long locks, but this style is really popular right now. I have been wanting some two-strand twists with my locks for a while, but every time I try, my locks are kind of at a really awkward length, and it just never looks cute. But I've seen this, and I already had this Marley hair out, and I'm like, you know what? I may be able to finesse something and so yes I have been working on my hair this is what I have so far it may not be perfect again this is literally the first time I've attempted to try this style and it was turning out cool so I kept going so let's get into this tutorial so first things first I'll tell you guys what product that I'm using to do this style like I mentioned I'm in between retwists for the most part I'm using oil um, I am using some edge control on my edges. I have some Marley hair. I can't tell you guys how many packs you need or how many I'm going to use because I already had some open packs in my stash. But I am using just standard Marley hair and I cut the hair that I had in half. And then I'm also using some rubber bands. So far, this style is very lightweight. There's no tension whatsoever. And I'm really excited to see how the final look turns out. Already did a part based on like how my hair is already parted for my locks. So basically what I'm doing is doing two strand twists. So I'm taking two of my locks and twisting them. For this side, I pretty much just used all of my real hair for these twists. And then I just turned the ends up to even them all out so I didn't really add any fake hair on this side but this side this is going to be the longer side so I'm going to be adding some Marley hair at the end so I'm going to start with my two locks so I'm just taking some oil and I'm basically going to do like a soft retwist and then I'm just going to twist them together we're just going to keep twisting, keep twisting. So this one right here, since it's the bottom layer, I'm not going to add a fake piece to this one. But yeah, that's just basically how I just do a soft retwist and then twist the two together. And then I'm just going to secure the end with a rubber band. And I kind of fold it. Uh-oh. Oh, I forgot to do that. So I'm going to twist it. And then I'm going to take a clip and just clip the root like if I were doing an actual retwist. The reason I'm clipping the roots is because I'm working on dry hair um, and I don't have a retwist. So if I don't clip the root, it's going to like puff up and get big. So I'm just clipping the roots right now to train them to fall correctly. And I'm going to do the same thing with this next one. I probably won't add fake hair to this one either because I don't think I need it.
ones back here, I pretty much just needed to use my real hair to keep it at the right length. I think from this point on, I'm going to start extending them. So again, I'm starting with just two locks and then I'm going to use one piece of Marley hair. Now, the amount of Marley hair that you use is going to be dependent on the size of your locks. But I'm just going to start doing my light retwist. And then I'm going to start twisting. Okay. And then once I get to about this much, I'm going to take this piece of Marley hair and I'm just going to feed it in and I'm going to just continue twisting. Now, some of my locks, they're a lot thicker than these Marley hair, but I don't want to add too much fake hair. So as you guys can see, like, there's a difference in the size, like you can see where my real hair stops and where it's just Marley hair, but that's fine because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue twisting to the end and then I'm going to measure it out. Again, this is how long I want this size. I'm going to measure it out, then I'm going to fold it up. So I'm going to, this is where I want it to fall. So I'm just going to fold it up and twist that hair back up. And I'm going to secure it. I'm going to make this one a little shorter. Alright you guys, so I'm going to walk you guys through a few more. Um, because I feel like when I was trying to speak on it in real time because I was literally learning how to do it in the moment It was kind of hard for me to explain but it's a super easy process All I'm doing is twisting two of my locks together and I'm feeding in a piece of Marley hair at the bottom And when I get to my desired length, I fold that hair up and or I fold the twist up and some of them I was just kind of twisting back to the top and other ones I kind of did a faux lock back to the top I'm still undecided on which technique works best but that's basically what I was doing and then I was rubber banding where my real hair stopped and at the end of the lock just to make sure everything was secure and So before I would wait to the end to rubber band them, but I started realizing that it was a lot easier and the twist stayed a little better when I would rubber band like as soon as I got to the end of where my real locks are to secure that and then go back and continue to twist the hair. And this is what we're working with after I have all of my hair twisted down. And I'm just going to take some scissors and clip like any flyaways from the Marley hair. And then I'm going to do my edges real quick and I'm using the Style Factor Edge Booster per usual. Now I'm going to go in with some foam. I believe this is Cream of Nature and it's the Argan Oil Foam. And I'm just going to run that through my hair on my scalp towards the ends. And I'm just trying to get it to set properly because some of the pieces or some of the twists, they were just kind of bent funny. And I'm just trying to create that shape. And then I'm also going to take... Um, this towel that I steamed again since I have Marley hair some of the twists were a little stiff So I just wanted to kind of give them a little movement So I steamed this hot towel and I'm mainly focusing on the pieces or the twist where I added the fake pieces of hair
And then lastly, I tied my hair down for maybe an hour to two hours. And I left it tied down with the clips on. And then after about two hours, I took the clips out. And that was pretty much it for this install. All right, you guys, so I am back with the completed look. It's actually been about two days, but I did want to jump back on camera, give you guys a 360, and just give you guys some more details about this install. First, I'll start with the 360. So this is how it looks up close and personal. Again, this has been, this is two days since I originally installed it. <clears throat> overall I love this hairstyle as a whole I love the way it looks I love the way that it frames my face I cannot wait for my locks to get long enough so that I can recreate the style with my real locks but yes I love the way that this style came out especially considering that usually when I try a new style or something I'll play with the idea for a while I'll try out different techniques before committing to it but with this one I just jumped in head first now I will say there are a few things to consider if you are interested in recreating this look so first of all the style did not take very long it took me about four hours and that was also including breaks as well as I was working through my technique figuring out how I wanted to do it during the process but now that I've done this next time I could definitely knock this style out in probably like an hour and a half to two hours max so it didn't take long to do. So the next thing I would recommend, honestly, is doing this style with a fresh retwist. I told myself the next time I do it, I'm definitely going to do it with a fresh retwist. Uh, with a fresh retwist. Um, and you guys know, I personally just like the overall aesthetic of how fresh retwists look. But outside of aesthetic purposes, I think you should definitely do this with a fresh retwist just to make sure that it sets properly. Now, if you don't want to retwist your hair, I would definitely recommend at least working with damp hair and or using some kind of product. As you guys know, for the most part, I was using oil. But once I got to like my parting area, I did use some aloe vera gel to do these ones right here just to make sure that my part is neat and it looks a little cleaner. Like in some of these other areas, the twist, the two strand twist just did not set. They are unraveling. <laughs> um, yeah. A lot of them unraveled. And I don't mind it, especially because it's the ones in the back. But definitely, if I would have did it with a retwist, then all those twists probably would have set properly. And then the next thing is rubber bands. Okay. So the rubber bands I used, they were from the Dallas Stowe. I was in a dollar store a couple weeks ago and you know when you're in a dollar store you just be buying stuff because it costs a dollar. So I got some scrunchies. I seen they had rubber bands. I'm like, oh, let me grab these rubber bands. But the rubber bands were just really, really cheap. Um, I don't usually buy rubber bands from the dollar store. But had I known how cheap those rubber bands were before doing this style, I just would have went to the beauty supply and got some regular ones. But yes, rubber bands were really, really cheap and they just kept popping. So I had to use a lot of rubber bands to kind of hold this style together. If I used better rubber bands, I don't think I would have to use as many. Yesterday morning and today, I definitely had to go in and like retwist some of them because they were unraveling, re rubber band them because some of the rubber bands popped. Another thing that I did is before on some of them, I was only using like one Marley twist, but on some of my thicker locks, I did start to use two strands of Marley hair to add the extension. So, yeah, definitely take those things into consideration. I apologize again you guys this was definitely a last minute hairstyle but I felt like if y'all seen me on Instagram or if I got on another video with this style y'all would have wanted a video or been asking questions about it so that's why the tutorial was kind of all over the place and last a minute I think that's all I have if you have any recommendations suggestions that I should try the next time I recreate this style definitely let me know down in the comment section because I do kind of want to perfect this style I think this might be one of my new go-to styles i really like this style i got a lot of compliments with my hair like this a lot of people have to do a double take they're like wait is that oil here but i think that's going to be it for this video if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them down in the comment section thank you all again for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe follow me on instagram snatched by charmel and i will see you beautiful people in my next video